Hey everyone, welcome to part 7 of this Arch Linux tutorial series. In my last video, I covered some basic keyboard shortcuts and the awesome window manager, including how to change workspaces, enable tiling, and restarting awesome, to name a few. I also went over how to change the number and names of workspaces, along with how to change your default terminal from Xterm to whatever emulator you chose. I also showed how to install a web browser and move windows from workspace to workspace. If any of this is over your head, please click the link below to browse this playlist. So guys, as promised, let's delve into some more awesome configurations. To begin, let's grab a file manager. As with most things in Linux, there are a great number of different file explorers to choose from. I like to use PC Man FM, but there are many others, including Nautilus, Nemo, Thunar, Sunflower, Ranger, Midnight Commander, etc. Most are available in the official repositories. Anyway, to get any of them, of course, you've got to open a terminal. Remember that the uh, shortcut in Awesome to open your default terminal is Mod 4 and Enter. Um, so I'm going to grab PC Man FM. Alright, so once it's done downloading and installing, you can run it by using mod 4 and R and typing in what it is. So I got PC Man FM, and there you go, you got yourself your very own file manager. So while we're at it, let's also grab an image viewer. Again, many options here. We got Risretto, Picasa, F Spot, Shotwell, etc. I'm going to go with uh, Risretto for now. So let's start configuring the wallpaper. Open your favorite web browser. And type in uh, Nick bot NU. This is my favorite wallpaper website. There are little, literally thousands of different backgrounds added daily, and the search function is pretty handy as well. You can easily browse the site for hours as uh, new wallpapers are loaded each time you scroll to the bottom of the screen. You can also search for different wallpapers by going to options and typing in what it is that you're interested in, and then hitting find, and then closing the options window. Now, if you're in the mood for arch-themed wallpapers, there are also a few packages available for you in the AUR. One of my favorites is located in the Arch Linux Special Wallpapers. So let's go ahead and grab that. Anyway, once this particular pack is downloaded, they're moved to that user share arch wall directory that we'll look at later. So now that we have an image viewer, we can go ahead and open it. These particular wallpapers are in user share arch wall. So this opens that particular directory. You can browse through them. Uh, these are pretty nice. But my favorite one is this one, Arch Space 3. So now that I know its name, So now that we have a file manager, I'm going to open a couple of these so you can actually see what I'm doing in the terminal. But 
So this is completely optional, but I like to make a copy of my chosen wallpaper in a pictures or wallpapers directory in my home folder. So you can make sure you're in your home folder by using the PWD command. This is short for print working directory and just simply displays where you are. So now that I'm sure I'm in my home directory, I'm going to create this uh, folder by using the make dir command. Name this wallpapers. So as you can see, this wallpapers folder has been created here in the file manager as well. So I'm going to double click to open that directory. Actually, I'll do it down here. And up here, I'm going to browse to that user share arch wall directory. There are the wallpapers we downloaded from the AUR. Now I'm going to copy that wallpaper over to this wallpapers directory. So, cp user share arch wall uh, arch space uh, three. And this is going to go to our wallpapers directory. And I'll name it uh, wall.jpg. You'll see now that that wallpaper has appeared into our wallpapers directory. You can also accomplish the same thing by dragging and dropping now that you do have a file manager. I just wanted to demonstrate this for uh, our newer folk. So, finally, I'm going to copy this wallpaper over to our themes directory so that Awesome can actually use it in its theme. I guess I'll just leave that one open and copy it from my wallpapers directory. But, we're going to go to be home, your user's name, obviously, uh, config, uh, awesome, themes, and whatever your theme's name is, and there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is overwrite this background.jpg. If you do actually like this wallpaper, be sure to actually copy it into your wallpapers directory so that you do indeed have a copy of it because we're going to overwrite this. Or you can end up renaming it in here. But what we're going to do here is uh, again use the cp command and we're going to go from our wallpapers directory and use our wall.jpg or whatever it is that you name that wallpaper. And we're going to throw this into that directory. So config, awesome, themes, whatever theme you're using, and then we're going to go to background.jpg. Oh, all right, you may get this error. It's going to tell you permission denied. So when that happens, uh, we're going to uh, prefix this with sudo. And there we go. So if you look at themes arch, you'll see that background JPEG has indeed been overridden. So. Now let's open our favorite text editor. I'm going to use Sublime. And we're going to open our theme.loop file this time. This is going to be located in themes, whatever your theme's name is. And this is going to be your theme.lua file. This is the same directory we just copied our wallpaper into. I'm going to double click to open it here. Now what we're interested in is around line 30, yours may be different depending on what theme you're using, but here you can see that the command um, theme.lua is using to set the wallpaper is called awsetbg. So let's take a look at that. So let's do awsetbg, and we're going to use the H switch for help. And you'll see that there are a buttload of options you can play around with. Uh, the one I'm interested in right now is the A switch, and this sets the wallpaper to maximized. This is really handy if you've got a wallpaper that's bigger than your screen resolution, but you want it to shrink down so that it doesn't look too big or tiled or anything. But if you like those, there are switches for that. You have the C switch for center, T for tile, etc. So in order to get uh, themes.lua to actually use the switch that we want, we're going to modify this. And the one we're interested in is the first uh, command here. There are others listed here, but we're interested with wallpaper one. So what you do here is you tack on the A switch, and then you add a space. Make sure that space is there. It's very important. 
Otherwise, this will get confused and your, wall, your awesome configuration may, in fact, break. So be sure that space is there. All right, so we're going to hit Control-S to save. And let's restart awesome. And there's your new wallpaper. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you for being patient. I know it may not seem like it, but these videos really do take hours to make. And I'm glad that some of you are finding these helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.